Hello friends, today we are going to see how to use electrical control drawing in electrical troubleshooting. Then how to follow, how to read electrical control drawing. These two interesting topics we are going to discuss now. I have taken here on the old starter diagram. I am going to explain how to check a electrical control panel, dual starter panel with the help of tester. So I have give one small example we are in childhood we are playing this game our in this game our target is the rabbit need that carrot uh, we we need uh, connect the rabbit to this the carrot similar to our electrical control panel the contactor the motor contactor need the phase and neutral supply we are going to connect and trace how the way the face and the neutral connect connected our main target is the contactor coil supply a1 a2 need uh, face and neutral so we try to give face and neutral to the conductor through the interlocking and switch off switch on circuits let's start how to check how to trace that uh, table starter diagram with the electrical tester i initially I have test, uh, tested here that the incoming phase on the incoming phase if tester is low the phase is okay after that where are the phase is going where are the phase line is looped all the terminals we need to check here auxiliary connect of Q2021 auxiliary connect of Q2043 and the auxiliary connect of overload relay all the terminals we need to check if the tester is close the terminals face are okay otherwise if uh, it has any loose contact we need to correct then then i am going to check one by one step by step first initially the overload relay overload relay auxiliary contact k80 95 i am going to check whether is tester is close that uh, line is okay next uh, that nc after that nc the 96 terminal number 96 if the 96 uh, tester close that 96 that nc contact it's nc contact is okay means that auxiliary conduct of overload relay nc is good next uh, that off push button terminal number one and we need to check if the tester is low okay that line okay next that off push button terminal number two we need to check uh, then it is okay that nc off push button nc contact is okay then the face line is directly uh, looped with that 9596 and off push button 1 and 2 after that the down push button terminal number 3 we need to check if it is okay tester glows that means up to on push button terminal number 1 got face so our uh, almost we uh, almost we trace everything up to on push button we got supply now we going to push on push button and let's see what will happen i give here the color indication lamp of color the indication lamp glowing red color this is off indication lamp because that uh, auxiliary connect of q20 21 22 is nc the face is directly come to the comes to this lamp that will close now i press the button it will uh, uh, the car, motor conductor coil card supply means that q20 card pickup it means that auxiliary contact of all change its position look that i circled marked here uh, what are the changes are happened please uh, watch once the contactor got picked up it means uh, it its uh, auxiliary contact all change its position look at that that circled marked areas all changed on its position look the q20 auxiliary contact uh, 1314 changed at nc and that auxiliary contact of q20 2122 changed nvo then auxiliary contact of 43-44 changed NC. Now I completed the phase side of uh, testing, thermal testing. 
I am going to explain the neutral side, neutral end. You put the tester on the neutral point of any any area, like uh, indication lamps and the conductor terminal A2. If the, if the tester is closed, it means the neutral is cut off. You need to check with the neutral. So friends, I hope you understood. If this video is useful to you, please share to your friends and uh, share my videos on Facebook and uh, WhatsApp. Thank you for watching friends. Thanks a lot.